questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Chris Tarrant said it brilliantly. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. As you can see, today's winners. Adrian, well done, nice one. Nice one, Paul. Go on, Steve. Bill, Adam, Phil. You're all great. You're all stars. Alright, so let's get into it. So basically, as you can tell, this isn't the usual thing for me. Usually I just go around playing bad games for six-year-olds, like, Oh, I look, it's Bobby, it's a bad game. But I think... A little change is nice once in a while. So today I'm playing Want to Be a Millionaire just to see how much of a dumbass I really am. I think. Uh, anal Anil. I think that's a good name. Doesn't everyone else agree? They should do. So they don't. I am disappointed. Would you like me to go over the rules before we start? No. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? I'm going to play this game until I get the million. If I don't get the million, play again. Don't get the million again, play again. Don't get it again, million, again. Go, again, again, again. I said again too much. I, it doesn't sound like a word. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't sound like a word. Well, it's English. Wait, what's that? A bit cone, right. Pyramid? <laughs> Why didn't I get that? I should have gotten that straight away. I'm an idiot. Okay, right. Next question. Go! Good. I worried him because I don't know. I've never seen it. Uh, but that was the name I recognised, so I figured it was that. What name is given to drawings scribbled on the walls of public buildings? Spaghetti. Is it not spaghetti? Oh shit. It's not spaghetti, is it? Um. Oh my god. Ah, hmm. Tutti Frutti. Yeah. Hmm. 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 No. Oh. Graffiti. Final answer. Are you confident? You're absolutely right. Oh, what a guess! Yes! I did it! Yes! I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at guessing. Yes, I did not know that. I've got all through some new information. That's good news. <laughs> Let's try Tonto. I don't know. It's not Tonto. Well, you've got three right so far. Nice and confident. We. I don't know. I don't know. Lone Ranger. Why is that the fourth question? That's not easy. Oh, I am sorry, but you're leaving. Me. Okay, let's try this again. Jesus, Lone Ranger's horse for five hundred pounds. What a load of crap! Rubbish. Oh, an exam, isn't it? Yeah, it's an exam. It's a photograph. I know that. I'm dumb. It's good for two hundred. I'm just such a good actor. It's really believable, there, you know. Hmm, definitely. Now, here's question number three. Yep. Okay, I understand. Get on with it. Go. Seagull. You've got 
I've won this before. I don't see why I'm able to win it again. I won it when I was like, I'm being serious, I won it when I was must have been seven. Um, let's try major. So you're saying it's A, A company. That's the right answer for 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. I know stuff I shouldn't have known 12 years ago and is completely irrelevant to me right now. I'm good at this. Now, the next question guarantees you a thousand pounds if you give me a correct answer. Guess. I don't know. No. If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to be with at least one pound. Well done, it is. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Sure, I'll take that. Fine with me. Eve's pudding, as in, I don't know, apples. So I guess it'd be apples. That makes sense. Yeah, apples. There we go. Good. Ah, <sighs> that's refreshing, I suppose. Bigger jumps. Mm. Chris Tarrant is a dork. Hmm. Really? This is the <laughs> what? This what? This is the sixth question. It's going to be James Callahan, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> This is honestly, I'm not acting right now. This is genuinely me guessing because I've got no idea. I don't care. I know the past like four prime ministers. Before that, no idea. Okay, going on. Question eight coming up for I know those four because they're around during my lifetime. So, last minute thing before that, two of the prime ministers, no idea. I need, only need two questions to do with that, though. No more. Um, I guess it would be... Those two would be the first and second. Chicago? You're going to D. Oh, I'd love to say you just won a thousand pounds. And I can! You have Good! Won. Yes! Logic! Yes! Heat is hot. Ah, oh, geez, sounds Asian, but I'll say Asia. So you think the right answer is C? Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm. No, no. Really? Oh, oh. That's my third guess. I've won every time. Oh, well, I'm good at this stuff. So, yeah, this series will go on until I win a million. So, just wait for that. It'll come, I'm sure. Oh, I said come. I don't know why I told you that, but you can cherish that information for the rest of your life. Go on. 
bitch. I want to know the question. Delia Smith. I'll say Frederick. That sounds the most... Charles Delius. Gustav Delius. Frederick Delius. Jean Delius. Or is it Jean... Jean Delius? I don't know. I'll say it's Frederick. Oh, cool! <laughs> That's my fourth guess, and I'm guessing them now on the basis of it sounds like a good name. Oh, wow. I'm just a pro. I'm gonna, like, win an accidental million pounds. Just complete luck. I've also still got all three lifelines with five questions left. Jesus, I'm owning. I'm owning, you could say. Oh ho ho! Hmm. Money's getting bigger. Money's filling my pockets. Invertebrate. Which describes 95% of all known living creatures means what? Well, everyone has a brain, everyone has blood, everyone has a heart, I'm sure. No backbone. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Yes. You were guaranteed a check for £32,000. I can now give you a check. Cool. That was easy. I think I knew that anyway. Yeah, I knew that. What am I saying? I knew that. At least I should, for <laughs> science. Oh god. Four questions. Three lifelines. <laughs> oh, I'm worried though because with the 50 50, it might not help. Well, it will help, but just be useless because I don't know. Because I have two questions, so I have 50 50 percent, 50 50 chance of winning. That's why it's called 50 50. But I think the ask the audience and the other ones are a lot better. But they won't know towards the end. If I use it on the last question, like, nobody will know. Oh, Jesus. Extinct mole is a bird native to which country? Oh, shit. Um. Hmm. Maybe why to use. This one. <laughs> what thing? Four questions left. <laughs> Three lifelines. Why? What am I doing? Hello. Hi, Rob. This is Chris Karen from Who Wants to Be Okay. Yeah. Hi, Chris. A hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds is the little amount of riding on the answer to all that people have done. No pressure. Far away, Chris. Okay, here we go, Rob. You're super. <laughs> Wow, some, some, surprise, some surprisingly good voice acting there. Because Chris Tarrant is really well, it's just really choppy and shitty. But he's rather decent. He's actually like not all badly and he's actually speaking it in a sentence. So that's good news. Is yeah. Obviously expecting that. Oh! <laughs> tense, 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 tense. Hmm. And plus, I would have won by now because nowadays it's 12 questions if I'm not wrong, and that's 15. I mean, now in oh, this game it's 15, so I would have won! Oh, two lifelines, three questions. Oh my god! Don't jump off the roof. That, that sounds like a Spike Milligan thing. I haven't heard of Charlie Drake, Eric Sykes. No, I don't know. Tommy Cooper. I don't think that's his thing. Spike Milligan. Okay, you're going to sing. Are you happy? 
Ah, oh, God's tent. You've risked 93,000 of it, and the answer to this question, and I'm afraid you've lost it. I hate you. It's Tommy Cooper. Mm. 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 No. Mm. Ah, okay, that ends this episode. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.